hello welcome back late orders versus total orders so if you see just looking at the number of orders arrived late for each sales person isn't a good idea right so if a sales person is doing so much business there is obviously a chance for the late orders right so that's why management want to see all orders versus late orders so that's how they can see like for example here peacock employee id 4 doing so much business 156 orders she placed and out of 156 delayed delayed orders is 10 so that is okay but if you don't see the all order count then it doesn't make any sense by going just with the late orders right so now find out a solution to bring all orders and late orders in two different columns for em- for each employee id where the delayed orders are there okay employee id last name all orders a orders means all orders l orders means late orders so here is my solution so even though the solution looks long but it's very simple so first the late orders the, this is a cte two level of cte so the first cte is late orders second cte is all orders and since we have two levels of cte i used a comma here okay so first late orders select employee id and count star as late orders from orders table where the late orders formula is ship ship date is greater than equal to required date and without that condition we will get all orders right then once we got that late orders and all order i am doing some basic select statement so select employee id last name all orders and l orders from first all orders then doing the inner join with the late orders so the all orders and late orders are the cts on employee id is equal to employee id then since we don't have the em- we have only employee id but we don't have the employee last name so for that reason i am doing a left outer join to get the employee uh, to get the employee what is that called employee last name so to get this employee last name i am doing a left outer join on employee table and the condition is same employee id and order by employee id now this is very simple right if you see even though the code length is uh, long but the we are just making the last orders late orders and all orders as a separate cts on top of those cts writing simple select statement with one inner join and left outer join to get the details okay so now let's run this this is the result set so like the previous solution here also we got total eight records and with all order all order count is this and late order count is this so that's all for this session See you in the next session until then happy learning bye